You ever get nervous whenever a series that ended gets a sequel and you're like, well, I don't know if the sequel is going to live up to the series that I got into. So I must just keep it on the back burner, watch it from a distance, see how it does. That's exactly what I did with Dragon Ball Super. I was like, when they first announced it back in, I think it was 2015 that Dragon Ball Super was getting announced for a revival or Dragon Ball Z was coming back or whatever. Uh, I was just like, man, I ain't messing with that shit. Dragon Ball Z was Dragon Ball Z. That shit was peak. It ended the way it was supposed to. Mother took a defeated kid, boo. They had the tournament at the end. We got to see the characters grow up. We don't give a flip about no time skip that happened. But needless to say, I was missing out. If I could go back in time and look at myself when they announced the news that Dragon Ball Super was revealed, I would have been like, you're missing out. And I would have vanished and left myself wondering like. <sighs> but anyway, I want to talk about Dragon Ball Super if you missed the comedy aspect and the adventure feeling that Dragon Ball had, because a lot of people say that Dragon Ball was where it's at, it was peak because power levels didn't matter. You know, it wasn't so focused on power levels. And you see a lot of that with Z and Super, but Super still is its own thing and it still retains the feeling of Dragon Ball. Like I read all the manga, I read all Dragon Ball manga, all Dragon Ball Z manga, all the Super manga, and all of it had that Dragon Ball feel. So if you think that Dragon Ball Super isn't going to live up to your expectations, you're missing out. And I wanted to say that I didn't know that each Dragon Ball Super anime and manga are canon to each respective realm you know the anime has its own canon and the manga has its own canon and you know like the dragon ball superhero movie is already out you already know how the fight's going to end with cell max but it's still ongoing in the manga and mother suckers didn't tell me that freaking go go ten and trunks were doing their own thing as super saiyan man that shit was awesome lit pan's doing her own thing lit because at the end of z pan tells goku that she just finished flying around the earth a couple of times and we figure out that Pan is learning how to fly in Super. So shit just adds up. And, you know, Oob shows up in Super. I ain't going to spoil y'all too much. But, you know, um, I just want to say Dragon Ball Super is lit. And if you're not reading it because you're a Dragon Ball or a Dragon Ball Z diehard, tryhard fanboy or whatever, you're missing out. Get on that mother sucker now before it's too late because shit is going down. There are people getting immortalized. There are people using magic. There are people fighting with ways that other than just usual key blasts and power ups and fighting through the fist. There are many different types of fighting styles in Dragon Ball. And that's what makes Dragon Ball Dragon Ball. It ain't all just about. <laughs> <laughs> Spirit bomb. it's all about technique mother suckers and you know spoiler vegeta told goku that it ain't all about beefing up your muscles you gotta have peace and tranquility with the spirit if your spirit ain't matching up with the muscles then you're gonna end up looking like uh gas did because his body was so you, I'm, I'm hitting spoilers i'm naming characters that y'all don't even know about if you haven't watched dragon ball super or read dragon ball super basically if you haven't taken the time to get into Dragon Ball Super, you need to now because once again, you're missing out. Thank you all for watching. Zone here, and I'll see you all in the next video.